Hello everyone and welcome to my first flipped classroom presentation and my second screencast. So a flipped classroom is a different type of teaching model that includes instruction at home rather than in the traditional classroom. This instruction could range from a pre-recorded lecture on a YouTube channel, which would be similar to this one, interactive modules, or even movies. During the in-class sessions, the teacher would then use time to answer any individual questions in regards to the content learned the previous day. Class time could also be used for collaborative projects, assignments, or discussions. In my flipped classroom screencast, I will share a little bit more about me and my family tree. So I thought it would be fun to share with you how the phrase family tree began. So in the biblical age in Isaiah 11.1, 1, the Christians interpreted it as a literal tree growing from the root of Jesse. So the picture down here, um, this is Jesse. The Christians interpret this um, picture and the um, scripture as the virgin shall spring of the root of Jesse, but there shall come a rod forth of the stock of Isaiah, and a graft shall grow out of his root. So Jesse, this guy right here, is the king, is the father of King David. And the root coming out from him, I keep losing my mouse, is um, the branch that springs forth the life um, of all of his descendants. So right here you can see that it says Nathan, um, his son's name. So this kind of was interpreted as a literal tree that occurs um, by the Christians. So... In the medieval age, nobility adopted the tree as a symbol of lineage. Um, so similar to the Christians, they continue to use the tree because it kind of shows how complex and um, intertwined families can be. The modern family trees are a lot more disorderly and messy because in a lot of cases, um, somewhere down far in the line, um, family members have... Um, mated which it sounds bad but in the old days that's kind of how it was so it's a little bit more complicated than in the biblical ages so at the top of my family tree is my mom her name is Suzanne Gilroy um, she also goes by Susie um, she is my absolute hero she is a single mother of four and she never fails to give us her all um, her birthday is July 9th, 1971, which makes her 49 years young. Um, this is a picture of her right here. She looks absolutely beautiful. Um, she is the person that helped um, create who I am. She's such a strong woman, and I take um, after her a lot, I think. Um, her hobbies include baking painting, and watching all things home design. So right now she's downstairs um, watching a home design show. So the next place in my family tree would be my older sister, Alexis Guzman. Um, she was born October 3rd, 1994, so she just turned 26 last week. She's a store manager at a Vans retail shoe store. And when it comes to work, she's super duper hardworking and makes sure that everything she does, she does um, correctly and she's successful in everything she does, especially when it comes to work. Um, she's really helped pave my future because she is the oldest one. I came six years after her, so she kind of like taught me everything that she knew and helped me mista make mistakes that weren't the same as hers. Um, her hobbies include reading, eating hot Cheetos, and collecting shoes. She is a dog mom, um, so is my mom, but we will talk about that a little bit later. Um, so this is my younger sister. 
Her name is Sabrina Guzman. She was born January 29th, 2003, which makes her 17 years old. She is currently a senior at Montclair High School. And as you can see in the pictures I included, she just ran for homecoming court, um, which was really exciting. Um, Sabrina is probably my best friend. We literally tell each other everything. And I think I've influenced her a lot, especially in regards to sports, because she took after me and swam, and um, even in academics, because she always compares her grades to mine, and always um, thinks about like going to college like how I did. Um, she's a cat mom, but like Alexis, I'm going to focus on the pets later in my presentation. So the fourth part of my family tree would be my little brother, Noah. Noah was born on July 10th, 2007. So he was actually my mom's um, birthday present. She was actually in labor when it was her birthday. So that's kind of interesting. Um, he is an eighth grader at Oaks Middle School in Ontario. And he is definitely one of the reasons why I want to teach. Every day, whether I want to or not, I help him with any questions and homework he has. Especially now that school is online, he has a ton of questions because his teachers aren't always as accessible as he needs. Um, he's addicted to YouTube and video games, but he also likes to draw and play with all of our pets. So, the last and some could argue the most important part of my family tree are the pets. So right here is Salem, my little sister's cat. He is um, about six months old and we found him as a stray kitty and took him in and we've loved every little bit of him. Um, most of my household is actually allergic to cats, which is kind of funny, but I still love to pet and snuggle with him all night long because he's so adorable. He loves to sit on the window ledges, chase our dogs, and climb on absolutely everything. So speaking of dogs, this is Miko right here. She's my mom's dog. She is a Chihuahua and Wiener dog mix. She's about six years old, which is 42 in dog years, and she's very protective of her family. She loves to play and loves showing off her toys. The next dog right here is Lyra. She is my older sister's dog. She is a Pomeranian and Chihuahua or maybe Terrier mix. She is about 5 years old or 35 in dog years. And she's a little bit of a grumpy dog because she has bad hips and knees. But she loves to bark, be fed human food, and sleep all day. So this is my family. Um, I included the most immediate and important family members as just a broad introduction um in an actual flipped classroom setting i would maybe ask a few questions to check for understanding or participation so how many siblings do i have how many pets whose favorite hobby includes baking and what's your family like in the following class session i would go over the answers to these questions and even incorporate an activity like having the students create their own family tree. Thank you all for listening to my practice flipped classroom screencast, and I hope you all enjoyed learning a little bit more about me.